Welcome all. My name is Jayhasni Chaudhary from 7th Standard E section. Today I am here to explain about my project the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. Let's learn the definition of the golden ratio. There are two quantities in the golden ratio. If their ratio is equal to the sum of their ratio to the larger of the two quantities, the golden ratio is represented as the value 1.618 and it is represented by the symbol phi. So for example, let's take two variables A and B. So uh, with uh, two different quantities where B is greater than A and 0 greater than B, the golden ratio is algebraically expressed like A divided by B is equal to A plus B divided by A is equal to 5. Let's see the Fibonacci sequence and the uh, relationship between the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where a number is obtained by adding the previous two numbers. Let's see how it is. First take two terms 0 and 1. When we add 0 and 1, we will be getting the sum as 1. When we add 1 plus 1, we will be getting the sum as 2. It goes on. And let's see the application of Fibonacci sequence. The application of Fibonacci sequence is petals. We might have seen many flowers in the... Uh, many flowers. So, when you see a flower, it also has one petal, two petals, three petals. When you uh, see it, you will be finding the Fibonacci numbers in that. So, let's see about the golden ratio. The golden ratio was found in the ancient times by the great mathematicians like Euclid and Pythagoras researching its properties. And it was found in 300 BC by Euclid of Alexandria. In India, the uh, in India, the great mathematician Pindla discovered the Fibonacci sequence which is uh, closely related to the golden ratio. Let's see about the application of the golden ratio. The golden ratio is applied in our human ear, sunflower and our snail. When you deeply look at my project, you will be seeing a snail 3D model. Thank you. Good morning. My name is C. Ashwin. Today, I am going to explain about angle of elevation and depression. First, to understand about angle of elevation and depression, we should know about trigonometry. Trigonometry is made out of two words. They are trigonon and metron. Trigonon means triangle and metron means to measure. They are used in uh, measuring the heights of buildings and mountains. They are used in navigation for plane. They are used in navigation of ships, etc. Angle of elevation. There is a normal sight of view for every human. This can be called as an horizontal line. When we view over this horizontal line, an angle is formed. This angle can be called as angle of elevation. Angle of elevation and depression are alternate interior angle. So both of them will be equal in an same right angle triangle. Angle of depression. This is the horizontal line. When we view below this, an angle is formed. This angle can be called as angle of depression. Trigonometric ratios. There are six primary trigonometric ratios. They are sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta and cot theta. Sin theta. Sin theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse and cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sin theta. So it will be equal to hypotenuse by opposite. Cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse and secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. So it will be equal to hypotenuse by adjacent. Tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent and cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So it will be equal to adjacent by opposite. Now we are going to measure the height of a building using trigonometric ratios. Now we are going to keep the angle at 30 degree. We can see that the top of the building is covered when the measure is 32.1 cm. This can be called as the opposite and this can be called as adjacent. So we can use tan theta. Tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. So it will be equal to x by 32.1 divided by 1 by root 3 which is equal to 32.1 by root 3. So it will be equal to 18.5 cm. Now we are going to keep the angle at 45 degree. We can see that the top of the building is covered when the distance is 18.5 cm. Tan 45 degree is equal to 1. Any number multiplied by 1 will be itself. So we can make sure that the height of the building is 18.5 cm. Thank you.
freedom, give me fire, give me reason, take me higher, see the champion, take the field now, unify us, make us feel proud, in the streets our heads are lifting, as we lose our inhibition, celebration, it surrounds us, every nation, all around us, Let's get to us in the people for game. Built together at the end of the day. We all say, when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a wave. Learn it, it's full of fun. The fear of algebra is none. When you learn it, it's full of fun. Once you know the values of X and Y, I promise you'll score very high. So, children, today will solve this equation with the rule of B O D M A S Solve the brackets first Or just come after that Divide and multiply then you add and subtract. So, children, now you all tell me what is the answer. What is it? Correct. Word must, word must. 